Hey everybody, I'll try to keep this short and sweet, just to stick with the theme of my video. Uh, it is baseball season, of course. The Red Sox opened yesterday to a great win. And with baseball, you know, comes a lot of different things, of course, you know, good and bad. But um, one of the issues on the table, and I say issues kind of sarcastically, is the uh, pace of game. And how Major League Baseball has, you know, attempted or will attempt to uh, speed up the games by having players, you know, not take as much time in the batter's box and, you know keep one foot in the box, all this good stuff, and to me it just, besides the fact that it's just really forced, I mean, the instant replay I thought was at least something baseball needed. Baseball doesn't need this, in my opinion anyway. No more than any other professional sport needs, you know, to speed up the game, but I mean, we're watching it because it's a game, you know, like we shouldn't be like, oh gee, when's this gonna be over with, oh great. You know, games are supposed to be fun to watch, they're supposed to be interesting, even, you know, regardless of it's soccer, baseball, football, hockey, whatever it is, you're watching it because you like the sport. You're watching it because you're watching one of the players on the teams. You're watching, you know, what's going to happen, who's going to win and lose, you know. So I'm sorry if it doesn't happen in, you know, an hour or two hours, you know. Now, baseball does have a reputation. They have for a long time now for having the longest times of games. The reason for that is really quite simple. There's no clock. Besides there being no clock, like, you know, just to play the game, there's no clock in between plays, meaning a pitcher and a catcher can work on, you know, how they're going to attack the batter for, hypothetically, forever. I mean, it usually doesn't happen, but, I mean, there are some limits that, you know, in general, you know, there are different things to keep the pitcher somewhat regulated. I realize that those aren't always, you know, put, made official, like the so-called pitch clock that they've talked about innovating on. Technically, the pitch clock has been a rule since, I don't know when, you know, a pitcher has about 20 seconds to throw a pitch or else it's a ball. I mean, that's been a rule forever. They just don't enforce it. The umpires don't enforce it. Do I really want them to enforce it? I don't know. You know, I kind of like a good game where, you know, there's an intense matchup. Some pitchers just work faster than others, just like some hitters, you know, want to get their at-bat going faster than others. Some hitters will size it up, foul off a pitch, walk around, and I think they should be allowed to do that. I really do. I mean, I don't mean to sound like one of these over-the-top baseball fanboys, but to an extent, leave the game alone. I mean, if the games are going over five hours, then maybe, but, you know, these games that they talk about, you know, the four-hour, five-hour ball games, they're few and far between. I think what a lot of people don't like is that there are so many baseball games, maybe. Again, I can't speak for the whole population. I feel like there is a die-hard fan base to baseball, young and old, that will continue to watch the game no matter what. And if anything, I think, you know, all this hyping up about the pace of game is kind of just hurting baseball's case, you know, for the younger players, for people in high school or younger who want to play baseball, you know, the fact that it's even being marketed as, oh, they got to speed up the game. To me, if I'm a kid, I'm going, well, I'll just play basketball then because it's a faster game. But even with basketball, even with football, you know, yeah, there's a clock, so you have an idea of when the game is going to end, but, you know, how about basketball, the last two minutes of the game, which take forever because there's timeouts, because there's fouls, because, you know, there's questionable calls, they have to keep going back and forth. Again, if you're a fan of basketball, this is no problem to you, but what if I want to be like one of these baseball people that are like, oh, basketball's too slow, they get to the end of the game and nothing happens. So my only thing is, when people say baseball's too slow, do they mean the actual action on the field is slow, or are they really talking about the 40-second at-bats that we're all worried about cutting out? And by the way, what are all these rule changes going to do? So the batters keep their foot in the box, you know, a little more often. They, you know, don't take time between pitches. The pitchers have to throw X number of pitches in amount of time. What does this do? Take like five minutes off the game? And what if it's an extra inning game anyway? What if there's, you know, what if it's a pitcher that just throws a lot of pitches? What if there's a lot of foul balls? What if there's a lot of walks? I mean, what are you supposed to do? I just find it funny that baseball, at least right now, is the only sport that's having this debate. Maybe it's because there's a clock in other sports. But like I said, there's ways to manipulate the clock in all of these sports. There's, you know, there's idle time in football. There's a ton of idle time in football. Everybody focuses on the big plays in football. But before that, before those plays and after those plays, there's about a minute of people walking around, huddling, thinking about plays, shots of the coach, shots of the cheerleaders. All right, those are okay. Shots of just all this different stuff going on and then one football play. Now, sometimes, you know, there's a no, you know, no huddle offense. Sometimes it's a little faster. But again, that's the game. And that's the game of baseball. I think it should be left alone for the most part. So... Again, agree, disagree. I realize I'm kind of taking the extreme stance the other way. I'm sure there are more people in the middle who think, you know, the game should be sped up a little bit. And then you have those who are like, it's too long. Like, let's just make it five innings. But again, baseball is baseball. It's fun to watch. It's what it is. If you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. Simple as that. So, I will see you all later.